make it to this uh, Salt Bay Fish and Chip Shop, uh, which is in Westwood Avenue. So, uh, yeah, give me the old journey for Alton Broad. Not a bad day today. Around about 21 degrees. Oh, God, no. We've got the bridge now. Alton Broad Bridge. Put a delay on the chip, you know, isn't it? Oh, well. Let's wait for the bridge to go up. The old bridge now coming down now, just let a little old river cruiser through from the broads. So we'll be on our way in a minute. Right, we're on our way. So lovely day today, the old sun shining and everything. Can't knock that one at my over. Been to this uh, fish and chip shop, so uh, I don't know what it's like. Um, Soul Bias called, and um, they have got one in Southbourne as well. This one is uh, situated in West Wood Avenue um, in Lowestoft. Uh, so, yeah, we'll uh, get down there in a minute. It's only a short, short drive anyway. Get down there and see, uh, see basically. Uh, what it's all about. This is uh, coming to Westwood Avenue. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, probably about a quarter of a mile down here on the left hand side. And uh, should open around about 11.30. So uh, let's have a little look. somewhere to park. And there it is, Soul Bay Fish and Company, or Fish and Chip Shop, which uh, we'll go in there now and uh, we'll uh, see what they're doing. chips wow that looks absolutely delightful and them chips look gorgeous as well wow nine pound 25 for that big extra large skate and the chips were 225 yep and that's the Sul bay um takeaway uh west wind avenue lower stuff there right let's get into this because i am really looking forward to this i love skate and um you can't get it all the while. Right, and here it is. Wow. See that all right? Look at that booby. That looks a corker. And we've even got a nice, uh, nice slice of lemon to go on it as well. Which, uh, yeah. A nice sort of squeeze of lemon on there. Wow, that do look nice, I will say. Right, let's get tucked in here then and see what this is all about. This batter. Wow, the crispiness of it. The meatiness, look at that. Oh, they dropped it. So hot, freshly fried. Look at the meat on that. Right, let's get in. This is going to be so, so hot. Actually, I might have a chip first. Because the chips, the chips are lovely. The fluffiness of them chips. Cool, wow. Cool. Quite a, well. Mm. 
come just throw it in the boiler that's uh, so hot. Let's go. Oh, it's hot. Oh, insane. That is so nice. That batter is so crispy. Wow. Oh, that is, I'll tell you, I'm just trying to let this cool a little bit. Oh. Mm. That is so nice, that's, that's ludicrous. That is, oh, it's great, wow, I can't get over, I'm going to have to let this cool down a bit. You know, I weren't going to have fish this week, and that, because I did it last week, but that is, I'm so glad I have, that is just ludicrous. The meat inside that skate, well, and the batter is done to perfection. I did skate, did a piece of skate for a chip shop last year, which was really nice. And a lot of people comment, we can't get skate where we are. And that, that's, that is hit and miss, but we do get quite a bit round there with the old um, fish and chip shops, um, being on the coast. But, but, um, 925 for an extra large skate i reckon that's banging i really do even like you know i think that was a medium haddock in that 695 really good price i can't knock out that's so tasty that meat on that's ridiculous and i'm let's say i'm just glad i've done it i'm just really glad i've done this today you know, this is one of the best fish and chips shops I've done. Look at the meat. That's just insane. That's just so thick. You can peel it off. Big chunks of it. Oh, wow. That is up there with one of the best chippies around. Just got to show you this meat on this. Look at that meat. That is ludicrous. Right, I'm going to finish up here. Um, that, going to stand by this as one of the best fish and chips I've ever had. That's how good that is. Now, I gave that place last week a 10. Well, this is going to be a 10 plus. That, it's off the scale. Lovely stuff. Friendly. Clean. Top notch. I can't knock it. I can't knock it. One little eye out. And the crunch. Wow. <laughs> it's insane. Right. Big old lorry put them in there. And this fish shop didn't know I was coming here. Same as every other fish shop. I don't tell anybody. I just do it and that's it. After I eat this, I'm going to go back in there, get the wife some chips to take them. And I want to congratulate them on how nice that fish is. So, um, yeah, I'll wrap it up there. I'll leave all the links in the description. Absolutely fantastic. Beautiful. And I think reasonably priced. Um, if you like this, press like. Comments below. Um, let me know what you think. And um, yeah, hang on a minute. Let's get this camera up there. The sun is in the way. And uh, yeah. 
Um, if you didn't subscribe yet, please just sit do it to help the channel, and I'll catch you lovely people in the next one. Thanks for watching. God, if you're down this, in this town, you've got to try this place. Thanks. You, me again. Right, just back from the old uh, Salt Bay Fish and Chip job. I just got to sum this up. That was fantastic. I went to the chippy and um, thanked them for that. They didn't know I was coming at all. Um, a complete surprise to them. Um, afterwards, when I went back in and told them, that was, uh, well, well, one of the best fish and chips I've, I've ever had. Fantastic. That's not linked to Salt Bay and Safewold. Uh, it used to be. And um, the young chap took it over about a year ago um, and started his own business in it. And I, I, I will say, wonderful. Absolutely brilliant. I'll put all the links in the description and everything. And if you're in this, this area um, at all, or live in this area, or visiting on holiday, or working down there, I highly, highly recommend you check that one out. That is fantastic. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. See ya.